In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create the spire effect using Photoshop. Hey what's up guys, Drool here and for this video, I will be using this particular image that I downloaded from dventart.com and if you want to use the same image, the download link is in description, so check it out and use it. Now, to create this effect, we need the background to be solid white. So how do we do that? Double click on your background layer like this, come on, yes, and hit OK. Now here I have quick selection tool and make a selection of it uh, just like this. Doesn't have to be super accurate and it's a fairly simple image. Uh, so it doesn't, it shouldn't take like a lot of time to select it. So let's see and if you want to remove a selection from here, you can go here select minus one and let's remove it from here a touch bit. Okay, that seems perfect. Now once the selection is done, you think like that seems fine. Uh, go here and click on this mask icon so it will apply a layer mask and rest of the things are hidden not deleted just hidden so create a new blank layer from here put it under this thing uh, go to your paint bucket tool where is it here and uh, make sure it's a white color and then fill it uh, you can also use the shortcut alter backspace so that's fine now select your mask right click and select refine mask and in the refine mask, uh, make sure you can make your brush bigger like this. You, I'm using my big bracket keys to make it bigger and smaller. So make this bigger, uh, something like this. And then paint in the area where you think the hair might be, uh, like this. And uh, when you release it, as you can see, it has made an awesome selection of it. And since the background is white, the fringe will not be available. So it will look even better. So if I... As you can see, the output looks really awesome. And you can also like zoom in uh, like this. Uh, I'm using Ctrl plus for the zooming options. And then uh, like do it here like this. So you have even more beautiful details. Uh, so as you can see now it looks much, much better. And uh, my PC is like a bit struggling <laughs> to like uh, because the recording is, is on and like I'm using Photoshop and stuff like that. So it can be a bit tough uh, on your system. So also like uh, take care of that. So rest things like you can just paint over it like this uh, and it will work out better. So I'm not going in details, but now you know how you can do this. So once this thing is done, uh, just simply hit OK and your image will look much, much better. So the most difficult part is over like really. <laughs> Uh, then create a new blank layer from here and select hue saturation and in the hue saturation tick on this colorize option and increase the saturation until it looks like really funky and then change color to something blue uh, it has to be blue uh, otherwise it will not work for the fire effect so make sure it is blue or something like that so that seems fairly blue and after that uh, let's close this thing we need to make a JPG of it, but inside Photoshop. So how do we do that? Create a new blank layer here and then press Control, Alter, Shift and E together. So it will make snapshot inside Photoshop uh, like this, as you can see. So after that, change its blending mode to overlay. So basically it will just increase a lot of contrast in your image uh, so that we have better output later. After that, it, ta it, it is like time to create uh, little, little particles in the background. So how do we do that? Select your brush tool and select black color. Now, if you want your particle to look white, you will have to paint them with black color. Uh, I will show you the reason why. And also, whenever you paint these particles, don't forget to create a new layer from here. So a new layer and then click here, something like this and make sure your brush is really soft. Uh, right click hardness should be 0% and then uh, click uh, something like this uh, multiple times uh, near her hair would look much better so let's uh, do a touch here and stuff like that you get the idea uh, once this is done uh, cl uh, click on your new adjustment layer and select a solid color and the solid your color should be completely white like full on white hit ok now change its blending mode to exclusion so it will invert all of the colors and as you can see now those black dots look white and that blue image uh, looks yellow because yellow is the opposite color of the blue. So when we put a white layer on exclusion mode it will invert all the colors in the background like that. 
and you still have control over the opacity and stuff like that and more awesome thing about this like effect is like if you want to change the color just double click on this hue saturation icon here and you can totally change it anyhow you want so maybe that seems better uh, so this way you can change it you have all the freedom and now we need to create a fading orange background so for that create a new blank layer like this and we need to get, uh, get a selection of her so we already have a mask so press down your control or command key if you are on Mac so hold down your control key and then click on this mask here so it will automatically make a selection of her now we need the selection of the outside area so we need to invert it so you can go to select and inverse it so outside area is selected now on this blank layer do not forget to create it uh, this blank layer then in the color option uh, go and select some orangish color like this my I have already have a code so it's E85200 but it can be any orange color it's not necessary so hit ok and then make your brush big like really really big so let's make it uh, like 400 pixels still not enough so I'm gonna use my big bracket key to make it bigger it should be big enough that like it covers top and bottom both and then just do a simple click and it will like create a really good orange background and now you can go to select and deselect it so the selection is gone so now as you can see it looks much much better and you can like anytime go to image adjustment and hue saturation and change color of this background as your likeness so you are not bound to anything and that is really awesome now we need to create the same type of orange color but this time we want this on her and not on the background so how do you do that you again hold down your control key and click on the mask and then you go to your adjustment layer and select a solid color and since our original color is orange here it will automatically pick up the orange color here and hit ok and, and also we had a selection so the same selection is also here and now change its uh, blending mode to soft light so if I turn it on and off you can see the difference and you can always like go back and change any type of colors you want so after that's done this is the time for the final step so go here to adjustment clear and select curves and the curves uh, you can like uh, make it brighter or make it darker whatever type of effect you want so I'm gonna go with a slightly brighter one uh, from here like that don't overdo it otherwise it just doesn't work out so keep it in control uh, like that uh, and then if I turn it on and off you can see the difference so that's it for this video and if you really learned something hit that like button comment something it helps my video a lot uh, and you can also like click on any of these two videos and check them out or you can subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get an update uh, otherwise you can go to my channel where I have more than 65 free Photoshop tutorials for everyone so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop